When starting a project, it is very important that you put procedures in place to manage the project and that the project team will abide by them. In this video, I will discuss the options available to you when choosing a project management method and what you should base your choice on. Let's start with defining project management methodology. Project management methodology is a framework that outlines the way that work is completed throughout the project by providing procedures, rules and practices. Despite what the evangelists of the many copyrighted project management methods would like you to believe, there is no one perfect method to manage a project, nor is one method better than another. Choosing the right project management method very much depends on what it is that you are trying to do. You must choose the right tool for the job. The method must suit the project type and the deliverables. This is why research has shown that 39% of users use hybrid project management methods, picking and choosing from different methods to fit their need. There are many different, often well-published and sometimes hyped methods out there. In this overview, you can see a few of those methods, which I will briefly describe. Philosophically looking, you can divide the methodologies into theme-based, principle-based or process-based. With theme-based methods being the least prescriptive and process-based methods being the most. The exception to this is the first method that I will describe, which is rooted in all three, PRINCE2, which stands for Projects in Controlled Environment. This is a heavily structured very prescriptive project management methodology that leaves nothing to chance and was created for use in government organizations. It is suitable for large-scale and enterprise-level ventures. Lean is a theme-based method that aims to streamline and eliminate waste initially intended for physical goods on automotive production lines. But it developed itself into a method to reduce and streamline processes and activities to deliver more with less. Agile is a principle-based method, which aims to iteratively deliver whatever works through collaboration. It focuses on complex projects that require speed and adaptability, and is more of a philosophy than a prescribed methodology. That brings me to the more well-known process-based methodologies. The first is Six Sigma, created the Motorola which aims to improve the efficiency of manufacturing and business processes by identifying and removing the causes of defects and minimizing variability through statistical analysis. This method is suitable for enterprise-level projects and large organizations. Secondly, Waterfall, also known as PMI's PMBOK. This is the oldest and most classic method that pl first plans a project fully, then executes the project through phases using universal standards. If executed to the letter, the method can be inflexible, as its formal approach would hinder you when the range and scope of the project change. It also allows for little intermediate customer feedback during the project. However, its planning capabilities make it suitable for large projects with complex tasks and high volumes, and creative plans are often reusable. Waterfall contrasts sharply with Scrum and Kanban which are both prescriptive methods based on Agile principles. Scrum prescribes for semi-autonomous teams to break work into goals to be completed within time box iterations called sprints. This enables small cross-functional self-managing teams to deliver fast, allowing for continuous feedback and reflection. In its pure form, it is not suitable for projects with heavy constraints, such as strict timelines, fixed scope or large teams. Finally, Kanban. A visually oriented method that uses the principles of Lean, Agile and Scrum to improve speed and quality of delivery by increasing visibility of work in progress and limiting multitasking. It achieves this by using a Kanban board, usually with yellow stickies, showing all activities and their status. As you can see, there are many methods to choose from. But when choosing, please realize that all methods are just tools to make the process of managing your project easier. They are not intended as another source of conflict, so choose wisely.